Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, impressing of Ashua Jubala Metunumbu, who was recently inaugurated on the in the general general election in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which took place on the twenty fifth of February, twenty twenty three, has told Nigerians to be patient and understand with the understand over our ship we will liaise with banks to give low interest loans according to ashua jubala met to number the hardship of the moment will eventually give way to a more prosperous equitable and inclusive economy president ashua jubala met to number has called on nigerians particularly youth to be patient and understanding and have understanding with his government According to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, he said the hardship of the moment will eventually give way to a more prosperous, equitable, and inclusive economy. President Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu gave the assurance on Thursday in the State House in Abuja while receiving all Progressive Congress APC national youth leaders from across the 36 states of the Federation and Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. According to the Voice of Nigeria, President Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tsunobu told the youth that his administration would include them in governance, decision-making process, adding that no decision would be too difficult for his administration to take for the prosperity and unity of the nation. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tsunobu, said he feels the pain of the citizens. I make my pledge to the country that no decision will be difficult for this administration to take for the prosperity and unity of this country. Economic reforms could be slow, be patient a little bit more. I can assure you that I understand the pains you are going through. It is not easy to get out the monster of over 40 years called first subsidy, he said. I made my pledge to the Federal Republic of Nigeria that no decision will be difficult for my administration to take for prosperity and the unity of this country, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The President noted that his administration will do everything necessary to widen the net in order to accommodate more women and youth. According to him, this will be done among others by liaising with our lending institution to give micro loans at a very low interest rate for economic activities among the citizens. Earlier in his remarks, the All Progressive Congress APC National Youth Leader Abdullahi Israel told the President that as representative of all the youth organs of the party, they had come they had come to congratulate him on the party's victory at the polls and seek inclusion in appointments in the dissolved boards of the agencies. President Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu told the youth to be patient and understanding over the hardship and they will liaise with banks to give loans at low interest rates to Nigerians. Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu, who recently unveiled his, his ministerial nominee with one some wiki, Erufi and others in the list. The list which consists of Abubakar Momo, Abu, uh, Yusuf Matama, architect Ahmad Dangiwa, Anato Masawa, Chief Uche Energy, Beta Edu Doris Aniche, Dave Umayi, Wansom Wike, Muhammad Badaru, Nesir Erufai, Ekiripe Epo, Inkiru Onejiota, Olubu Miojo, Stella Okip, Ukutepe, Uju Kennedy, Bello Muhammad Goroyo, Delia Lake, Latif Fagbimi, Muhammad Idris, Olawali Edum, Adibayo Adelabo, Iman Osulaimon, Ali Pate, Joseph Utzve, Abubakar Kiari, John Enu, Sonny Abubakar Danladi. The names were read by the Senate President Goswil Apabio at the plenary on Thursday. The Senate President unveiled the President Ashwajibola Metunubu Ministerial nominees. Prominent people who made the list are immediate past governors of River State, Wansom Wiki and his colleague from Kaduna, Nesiru Erufai, and former Ebony State Governor, Dave Umayi. The 
the letter continued the letter containing the list of the ministerial nominees were personally delivered by the chief of staff and former speaker of the house of representative femi bajabi amila chief ashwa jubala ahmed adekunle tunumbu is a nigerian politician who is the 16th president of the federal republic of nigeria and also a former governor of lagos state ashwa jubala ahmed on who on the 10th of january 2022 made his formal announcement of candidacy for the president of the federal republic of nigeria on the 8th of june 2022 ashwa jubala Tunubu won the party convention vote of the ruling all progressive congress scoring 1271 to vote to defeat vice president yemi osibajo and ruti mamichi who scored 235 and 316 votes respectively we recall that Ashwaju Bulame Tunubu went on to play an important role in, Ashu- in Muhammadu Bari administration, supporting government policies and holding on to the internal party reins in lieu of his long held remote presidential aspiration. We recall that in 2019, he supported the Muhammadu Bari re election campaign, defeating the People Democratic Party candidate and the former vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Al Haji Atiko Abubakar. In 2020, following an internal party crisis which led to the removal of Ashwajo Bola Metunubu's Ali and party chairman Adam Nushio Male, it was believed that the move was to scuttle Ashwajo Bola Metunubu's presidential prospect against 2023. On the 1st of March 2023, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Ashwajo Bola Metunubu winner of the 2023 presidential election. He was declared president-elect after he pulled 8,794,726 votes to defeat his opponent. His runner-up was Alhaji Atuku Abubakar of the Opposition People Democratic Party PDP, who pulled 6,984,520 votes, and Labour Party Peter Gregory Obi, who had 6,101,533 votes to come third. Ashwari Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who was constitutionally began his presidency on the 29th of May 2023, he was sworn in by the pres- as the President of the, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria by the Chief Justice of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Olukayode Ariwala, at an inauguration ceremony held at Igbo Square in Abuja. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news as I'll be bringing you more interesting news. Bye for now.